Yes, guys, welcome to the Footwiz YouTube channel. We are here today to teach you guys how to take penalties. You're probably sat there wondering how the new penalty system works. If you have got the hang of it, well done. If you haven't, well, we're going to show you. And also, we're going to show you some of the tips and tricks to essentially scoring better penalties as well. Now, joining me today is Footwiz Ethan, Footwiz Pro Player, and he's going to be giving us a little tutorial on how to get better at them penalty shootouts. All right, guys, so I'm joined here by Ethan, as I mentioned before, pro FIFA player for Footwiz. How are we doing, Ethan? I'm all good, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm ready to learn some pens and how to take them and also how to save them because there's one thing I've been struggling with this year. Talk me through it, Ethan. Why is it important <laughs> to know how to take the perfect pen in these situations? Realistically, penalty should be a free chance to go every single time. <clears throat> if you can score a pen every single time, you literally get, get yourself a free goal. And this year, I think it's a lot easier to take them than last year. So, um, realistically, there's no reason to be missing this year. So, we should be at least hitting the target or putting ourselves in the best position possible to score pens, right? Every single time this year. It's pretty easy. Brilliant stuff. Cool. So, we're going to take you through how to score a pen and then how to save it. The most important part as well. So, starting off, we're going to be sticking with Ethan's best penalty taker on his team at the moment. Now, he has got R9, but we know the majority of us can't get R9. So, mm -hmm. we're going to go with Mbappe. And yeah. Higgins, take me through it exactly what your thought process is when taking pens. All right. So, this year, um, so last year on FIFA, I thought going bomb left and bomb corners was the best chance. But this year, for some reason, the penalty are a little bit easier. So, this year, I've kind of figured something out. If you green it perfectly, which isn't too hard to do, but put that bound four bars, four and a half bars of power and put it to the top corner. It's very, very hard for a goalkeeper to save it for some reason. They can't really get close again. See in the video, four and a half bars and Mbappe. Obviously a very good player, but there's players with better, better penalties than Mbappe. It's literally so if he can do it, then well. it's, I mean, see how perfect it is? Very hard to save. Literally smashing it on the other corner as well. And also you're going to show us with a centre-back as well. For those who maybe have worse penalty takers, mm -hmm. he's going to use a centre-back. So we're going to use Lucio here, aren't we? Yeah, so Lucio's like, he actually hasn't got bad pens, but like, they're nowhere near good. So with Lucio and players who aren't as Mbappe and like bare pen takers, I feel like going bomb corner is still the safest bet. So again, I think that was four and a half bars, four bars again with Lucio. As long as you green it and get a decent amount of power on it, there's no reason for it to miss the target. So you can literally hold your left stick all the way to the left or all the way to the right, depending on what side you want to go. So again, four bars, hold my left stick all the way to the right or left. Yeah, right, bomb corner. And would you say the most important thing is literally making sure you green it and then hitting that power? Yeah, so the green, the hardest part about the thing, yeah, I've taken pens this year, is quite usually just timing the green circle. That's it. If you get that nailed down, it's very hard to miss. Yeah, as you can see there. And obviously, that's with our step diving now. We're going to my pov. I'm taking the pen. Obviously, Ethan's saving it. Um, this is obviously you step diving, isn't it, Ethan? Like, you yes. know where I'm going to go. You're step diving. You're showing that's the way to do it. If you can predict where your opponent's going to go for penalty this year, you 100% have to step dive. Because um, this year, as you can see now, if you don't step dive and they put it up corner, you're not going to save it. So this year, more than ever, uh, if you have to step to the left and dive to the left, or step to the right and dive to the right, otherwise your player will not save it. Whereas last year, it wasn't the case. You could uh, step to the right and dive to the left. But now this year, if you're going to put it to the side, you have to go the full way. You literally just have to go the full way, just because of how important and how strong penalties are, right? Mm-hmm. Very, okay, very brilliant good stuff. Show. So, look, guys, that's just a quick little tutorial to show you how to take penalties and how to save them as well as that. It should help you out. Let us know in the comments if it did help you out. If you want to see Ethan take some penalties during the weekend league and stuff and in division rivals, make sure you check him out in the description. Ethan, thank you for showing us your tutorial, mate. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.